Okay, and this is the third step in creating a halo level. And in this step, we're going to be creating the, the uh, geometry that actually makes up the ground. So in our modifier stack, we're going to go to editable mesh, go into face selection mode, and make sure ignore back facing is turned on, and select the two faces that make up the uh, surface of the level. We're going to want to create more than two faces, so we're going to go to tessellate, and turn that down to zero and click tessellate four times and that's created for us 512 faces now in the top viewport we're going to want to select the faces that go uh, around the border the second row in so we're going to make sure we have our select object cursor selected if we uh, have the select and move as soon as you grab a hold and uh, start doing multiple selections of the uh, faces you'll actually start moving them so we don't want that we just want our select mode and so we'll select the second row in by holding down the control key and clicking and dragging now that we've uh, moved that second row we'll go to our move tool and move those mountains up Okay, at this point we want to add some uh, texture to the mountains, we want to give it more geometry, so we'll just randomly select the faces that make up our mountain. We'll go to rotate and we'll just simply rotate these faces. Select a second batch of them and rotate those faces. Now as you can see we have some mountains created. That looks pretty good at this point so we are going to go ahead and select all of the faces that make up the ground and to do this the easiest way uh, when you're still in face selection mode go under surface properties and then click the select by ID next to material and give it a material ID of number two and there it will select all of our ground and we'll go into UVW mapping and you'll notice some of the uh, grass has actually gone up onto the hills. That's something that we don't want. So we're actually going to edit a, uh, put a new object on the modifier stack, and that'll be an unwrap UVW map. And we'll go ahead and edit. And we're going to select all of the vertexes that make up the uh, mountains and we're going to move them to match with the bitmap. Okay, and once you have successfully uh, gone through and unwrapped that UVW, you will just go up to File, and we want to save the file at this point. Okay, and that does it for step number three. In step number four, we're actually going to be editing the uh, surface that makes up the ground of our level.